Hello my very most beautiful Capricorns. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your April weekly reading. Now this reading is going to go from the 5th through the 10th. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Capricorns, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorns energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. So we have the Strength card, got the Eight of Cups, the bottom of the deck. Mm, I feel like you guys are going through something here, okay? And I feel like it's, it's like having to accept that maybe something is over, okay? And also kind of wanting to give it like one last ditch effort we have the knight of swords at the bottom or the knight of swords and the nine of cups in your headspace i feel like you're not satisfied with the way it's i'm getting a very specific message so this part may not be for everybody for some of you guys i feel like you're very unhappy with the last things that were spoken and the last words that were said the last conversation you had with a, with a specific person okay you're unhappy with that conversation um Others of you, I do feel like you have some things you want to say. You're not happy with the way that things are between the two of you. You don't like, um, you know, what's going on. And with the Nine of Cups being in the reverse, you know, I feel like this could be you taking action. Because in the upright, he's seated. So it's almost like, you know, giving it that one last attempt to kind of reach out to send that message. Okay, I feel like some of you guys could be finding the courage to do that or holding yourself back from doing that, possibly. Okay, because I do feel like there could be a little bit of, sometimes the strength card can, you know, be a little bit to do with pride as well. So I mean, it's like, you know, having that pride, like, you know what, I'm not going to reach out again or I'm not going to, I'm not going to beg. I'm not going to tell them how I feel or what I want again. You know, it could be that kind of a thing too. In your heart, but even so, I do feel like you want to talk to them. I feel like you just don't want to be the one to reach out necessarily. Um, some of you guys still may though because you're just not happy with the way that things are between the two of you. Um, some of you guys, like I said, could be finding the courage too. Others of you guys are could be holding yourselves back. Now we have the Six of Swords and the World card in your heart space. You know, I, all of these energies kind of uh, are a little bit conflicting and they're going back and forth. And I feel like that is just, um, you know, a statement on how you know, conflicted your own emotions about the situation are, okay? Because we have the four of pentacles. And when it's in the up, you have it in the reverse. When it's in the upright, you know, it's being your head and your heart being on the same page. It's perfect alignment. You can see the head, the coin over the head and the heart. And they're in, they're in perfect harmony with, with each other. Perfect alignment. With it in the reverse, it kind of feels like the opposite to me. I do feel like your head and your heart aren't quite on the same page. And there's kind of this little inner war, this little inner battle. You know, sometimes I feel like it is. You know what? Screw this person. I'm not reaching out again. I've already told them how I feel. They have to reach out to me. I'm not doing this. You know, holding yourself back from communicating though. Um, but there's a part of you that wants to because there's a part of you that loves them and misses them and, you know, wants them back in your life. Um, so there's that little war between the two of you. Even here, you can see it again in your heart space. Um, you know, some of you guys are like, you know what? It's time for me to close this cycle out and just do my best to move forward. You know, leave this behind. Um... But I also, I also feel it with, you know, wanting to move past whatever conflict you guys are having. You know, because we go from the 
five of swords to the six of swords. The six of swords is overcoming that conflict, you know, and, you know, potentially the world card is closing out cycles, but it's also beginning brand new ones. Um, and I feel very much both energies. I feel like this is, you know, sometimes your heart's like, you know what, I want to move past this. I, I'm done with this. I want to close this out and just move on. And, and other times your heart's like, I want to move past the conflict and I want to make this work. I want to have a new beginning. You know, I feel like it's, I feel both energies and I feel like it's because you're at war with yourself and your head and your heart are not on the same page. Sometimes you feel one way and sometimes you feel another. And I think that is a part of a, I feel like we get very, um, set on we have to feel one way or another we either you know have to want to be with somebody or we don't but i feel like like most things it's a lot more complicated and messy and all that sometimes you want somebody sometimes you can't stand up you know and i feel like it's kind of like that i feel like we need to more normalize that gray um that gray area and stop expecting people to um you know be all one or the other because i don't feel like it's like that now we have the five of pentacles and the four of cups for your true intentions. Feeling very left out in the cold, feeling very hurt, very lonely, a little bit lost without the person, a little bit abandoned. I feel that war energy here as well. Um, you know, because a part of you feels very rejected and hurt and lonely and lost. The other part of you, you know, I feel like wants to kind of do the same back to them. You know, like almost wants to be able to reject them, you know, reject their love as well. Like, I don't even want this, you know, I don't even want them. You know, so this back and forth, but I feel like that's coming from a very hurt place. Um, because I do feel like you feel very, like very betrayed or very abandoned, very hurt by this person. I feel like you're do you find, trying to find the strength to disconnect from the emotions, to leave it all behind. Um, but it's something that is easier said than done. You know, you get the devil in the reverse right under it. And I do feel like you feel a very strong connection to this person. Um, so it's, it's, you know, breaking that as well. Now for your actions, we got the four of pentacles in the reverse and the fool in the reverse. There's some anxiety when it comes to really thinking about fully releasing this person. Um, your head and your heart, like I said, this is that war energy. And there's a lot of stress and anxiety around it. A lot of back and forth around it. So we're going to grab another deck here and we are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with and see what their energy is towards you. Now keep in mind these are not permanent outcomes. These are just weekly energies. Nope, you can't be on the cards, buddy. If you're going to be up here, you got to find a spot to lay down. All right. Apparently Apollo wants to come say hi. Let's take a look and see what their energy is towards you, Capricorn. Show me the first thing that Capricorn is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy towards Capricorn, please? What is their energy towards Capricorn? Show me the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What is their energy towards Capricorn? What is their energy towards Capricorn? You know, it kind of looks to me that in a lot of ways, you guys have some similar energies, okay? You do. You have some similar energies. Um, they have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck and the Hierophant in the reverse, the Empress in the reverse, Nine of Swords, Five of Swords in the reverse, Star card. Okay, so you know what? They're not... <laughs> mm. They are definitely not happy with the way that things are between the two of you either. Um... They're not. I do feel like this ending is a lot more on their mind than they want to admit to anybody. Okay, um, you know this is definitely something they're still they're still really thinking about. Um, I definitely feel like they're trying to heal from it or trying to keep to themselves when it comes to it. I'm trying to keep the no communication, but there's a part of them that just isn't happy. I, I mean, I, I do feel like they're not happy with the way that things went down or the way that things are between the two of you. Um, you know, I do feel like a part of them wishes that things could be different. They have a lot of remorse about something. So whether that is, you know, the no communication or whether that's something that went down within the connection. Um, regardless, I do feel like they're feeling a little bit of remorse. But I also feel like this could be feeling a little bit defeated as well. Um, so it's like, especially if this is something with the world card here, 
you know, and even the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords, all of those are really in the death card or indicative of a cycle. So I feel like this is something that you guys have been through before. This is not the first time that y'all have split up um, for most of you. Okay, I feel like this is a cycle. And so this can be just feeling like defeated. Like this is, you know, like every time we get back to this place and I just don't really have it in me to continue to do that. Um, but the Nine of Swords. So they're, they still really think about this. I feel especially like they lay in bed at night and they just, you know, they think about things. They definitely recognize that you guys have grown apart, but they also recognize there's something about the connection the way it is that isn't what they really want anymore. Um, that's why I feel like they're choosing to not commit to it, okay? Um, but there's a lot of unknown. I feel like they're really trying to trust themselves, but there's a lot of unknown energy, a lot of deep emotions surrounding the connection. Um, they got the Two of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse for their thoughts. I almost get this energy like one of the reasons why so they could like not be accepting calls or they're cute if you're trying to reach out to them and they're ignoring it um i feel like it stresses them out every time you call or every time you text um if they're just not messaging you take it however it is so if they've ignored you or they're just not reaching out i think it's something it's something because they do feel this disconnect i also feel like it's because there's something about the communication um it's like every time that you guys do talk um, it always ends up poorly, okay? Like the communication isn't good. Like somebody's always getting defensive or somebody's saying something nasty or bringing up past, you know? I just like the it never goes well. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why they're trying to avoid it. Now that's not gonna be for everybody, but it is something that is coming up. In their heart space, they have the death in the reverse and the hangman in the reverse, which tells me that they are trying their best to release this. I feel like it's a very similar energy to you. You know, they're trying their best to release it just like you're trying to move forward too, but the death in the reverse is a resistance to change, but they're having a hard time, especially because I feel like you guys have, like said, have been involved with each other's life. You guys have been through a lot. This is a cycle, so it's, it's hard for them. So they're trying their best to release this, but having a hard time. Um, you have the three of swords in the reverse and the two of uh, pentacles, which tells me for their true intentions. The three of swords in the reverse is kind of feeling two different ways for me. I'm getting kind of two different energies from that. Um, and the two, of, the two of pentacles is needing to make a decision. I feel like some of them are deciding, trying to decide on whether they can um, forgive something that's happened or whether they can be forgiven, possibly just take it how it resonates. Um, you know, trying to see if that's something that they should do. Like, you know, can we really try to fix this? Can Capricorn really forgive me? Or can I really forgive Capricorn or both? You know, um, depending on what happened between the two of you. Um, for others of you guys, I, I think that it is acceptance. Um, the Three of Swords and Reverse sometimes can speak of acceptance. And it's just like trying to accept, having a hard time going back and forth. Just like we talked about with you being at war, that back and forth energy. I feel like they could be experiencing that as well. And this is like going back and forth on trying to just accept that this is the way things should be or, you know, need to be. And but having a hard time with that. They definitely have a decision to make here. Because they have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords right next to each other. They also have the Two of Cups. They have three twos. There's a decision that needs to be made. So they could be deciding whether they're going to reach out or whether they're going to accept a communication from you. Whether they're willing to forgive or whether they think they can be forgiven. Or, you know, whether it's best if they just move on. I feel like they're in that torn energy just like you are. You're at war. They're at war. Um, you're, both, you're both at war with each other and yourselves. And it's kind of... Um, you know, I feel like it's coming to a point where this person is going to make a decision for once and for all. And that sounds very dramatic, but that's how it feels. So the Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, or the Six of Wands in the reverse. I feel like they've been trying to ignore the situation. So for some of you guys, they have been ignoring your texts or calls or whatever, or just not reaching out. And I think it's just because they're trying to ignore the situation as best as possible. Now we saw with those other cards, Eight of Swords, and Nine of Swords, they are not succeeding, but they are doing their damnedest to try to not give this any attention, to just not have to deal with it right now, to not look at it. Um, for others of them, I feel like this is their action. I feel like they are making a decision, but there's a big part of them that just doesn't feel like it. this is something that can work. Okay, they, like it can be successful. And they feel like they, some of them feel like they don't get um, the recognition or they don't get the, um, you know, that you don't value them. Now, that's not for everybody, but that is for somebody out there because that's how it came up. Um, so this is what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, a, a pretty deep reading. I feel like you guys are. You guys are both at war with each other and... Um, and yourselves when it comes to the situation. I feel like they are going to be making a major decision though when it comes to this connection um, very soon here. So this is what I have for you guys. We're going to actually grab another deck. I want to take a look at what... Um, 
I want to take a look at what your biggest challenge is and what you don't see coming. Show me what Capricorn's biggest challenge is in this situation. What is Capricorn's biggest challenge this week? The Four of Swords. So, you know, really going within and healing. Um, it could also be the lack of communication. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. So, you know, being too much in your own mind. Um, you know, be careful with that. But I also feel like it could just be the lack of communication. It could be literally like driving you crazy with that energy. What doesn't Capricorn see coming? What doesn't Capricorn see coming this week? Hey, man. So you could either be getting a new perspective or you could just continue to be four of wands. So you could... Um, It kind of feels like you could be getting uh, changing perspectives on what you want, um, what your goal is. So I feel like there could be some kind of mindset shift coming in for you this week that does look pretty positive. Um, so that is what I have for you guys. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.